Hi, hi, hi there. Today on the first episode of a new series that I like to call the On Series, where I just talk about a topic uh, unscripted and unencumbered by any heavy analysis. Today I'm going to be talking about the director Andre Tarkovsky, and I will be breaking it up by film, and you'll be able to see uh, what part of the video I talk about each film by looking at the, uh, the, the cards, the cards on the uh, YouTube video. It's hard to explain, I don't really know how to say it. Anyway, so today I'm going to go in order by every Tarkovsky film I've seen thus far. I've seen four of them, Stalker, Andrei Rublev, um, Solaris, and The Sacrifice in that order, and I'll start with Stalker. So I would give Stalker, I would say it's a great film, I'd say it's an overrated film quite heavily. Uh, I'd say that the first two hours alone don't work, and that what makes the film great is the last hour, which adds some heavy intellectual... a heavy intellectual thought process to the audience, and it really does a good job of asking questions about uh, is getting exactly what you want the best for society, which I thought was interesting coming from a director in a communist country, Russia. That was sort of like, sort of like in capitalist countries, you get people that criticize capitalism. I get, I guess, in communist countries, you get the same thing. And it was very, it was very quaint and subtle. I like, I like the last third of that movie a lot. The first two parts are some of the most boring filmmaking I've ever seen in my life. Tarkovsky does this thing where his movies tend to be kind of like slow and boring, and I think that's like an attempt to like absorb the audience in the world rather than the story, and I think it generally works. I worked in every one of his films except one that I've seen, which I will tell you. But that Stalker, it's a it's a very well shot film. Great, great poignancy at the end. Good performances throughout. And an interesting concept and premise. Next film I saw. I like this one quite a bit better. This is uh, Andrei Rublev, which is a epic, although it's called a biography typically. I really thought of it as an epic. I think it portrays medieval Russia in a very beautiful, accurate, gritty sort of way. I think the world building is phenomenal. The character is really good. The acting is really great. It, in the style of most epics, it takes a while to really get to understand what it's trying to do and what it's about, but when you do, it's a great story. And, and it's just really worth watching. It is quite slow, and parts of it do drag, I will say. Like, the first hour is really good, and the last hour is really good, but the middle part is probably not as good, in my opinion. It's still a great film, but every film has its flaws. Alright, so next movie here that we're going to talk about is my favorite Tarkovsky movie, although I do think it's one of the most flawed of Tarkovsky movies, but I really liked the ambition of it, and this movie is Solaris. Now, Solaris is commonly referred to as like his 2001 but I thought it was much more like The Shining. I thought it was The Shining in Space. I thought this was a great film. I really liked it. The tension, the mystery was present throughout. It had me gripped 
from the beginning till the end beautiful shots in most of the movie this the scene you see on the screen right now is from Solaris beautiful he always does this thing with water every single movie he shoots the water which is the meme that I created for him but beautifully made I liked the main actor better than any of his other films I thought he was a much more like subtle and emotive um, but yeah, I thought this was a great, tense, sort of like thriller until the very end, where the ending is so unartistically minded for like a great director like Tarkovsky. I got the ending and I was like, oh, that's such a cool ending because it had, it was ambiguous. And, but you could understand it. It wasn't like something really confusing. And I got it, and a second later, the film just told you what it meant. And I was like, oh, come on, why would you do that? It was, like, going really well. And that takes away from the film. Also, the film's, like, it's not as nearly technically as advanced as 2001. So I really think the Kubrick-Tarkovsky comparison is pretty... It's just kind of bullshit. Like, there's not many similarities between them. They're, Tarkovsky has a way different style. But nonetheless, I think Stellars is a great movie, but it's quite flawed. If I had to recut the film, I would just take out that stupid ending and just leave it ambiguous. Alright, anyway, that's me ranting about that film, film that I love. Okay, last film is The Sacrifice. I thought this film wasn't that good. I didn't really like it. It had some good bits, but I didn't feel like it really absorbed me in the story. I thought the cinematography, while it was very good, I thought it was bland and often colorless. Which, I know that was part of the world, but I wasn't very interested in the world. I felt it was uneven in many points, I felt the characterization was weak and convoluted. Anyway, I'm gonna not talk too much about the sacrifice because I don't have as much to say, but that is Andrei Tarkovsky's filmography according to me. Thank you, and peace out.